Hello and welcome to the Emergency Medical Responder PowerPoint Lecture Edition. Before I start, know that I do not own any of this information. This information is copyrighted on the National Safety Council book, but we are going to go through the series of lectures for those who will be who will be taking the EMR also known as the emergency medical responder course okay so let's start emergency medical responder are essentially a part of emergency emergency medical systems EMS so they are the first trained person to reach ill or injured patients. Individuals summoned to provide care in an emergency. Professional duty to respond and provide emergency care. Usually have access to supplies and equipment for providing it the initial care. For example, you can be a law enforcement personnel, firefighters, industrial safety officers, prison guards, lifeguards, daycare attendants, athletic trainers, key patrol members, civil dis defense personnel, disaster team members, and the list goes on. Situation where person suddenly needs medical care, that's emergencies, right? Often person is injured or experienced sudden illness, and it may be life-threatened at some point. So within the United States, there is about 735,000 heart attacks occurs each year, resulting in about 120,000 deaths. More than 326,000 people experience out-of-hospital cardiac arrest. So a lot of emergencies happen outside of the hospital. Hence why such an important um, <clears throat> knowledge is required. Strokes results is about 129,000 deaths. And there's about 130,800 people a year die from unintentional injuries. And about 29 million visit a year are made to the emergency department because of unintentional injuries. Sudden illness. Obviously it's, it's common sense. It's something, it's an, a condition that happens all of a sudden. A uh, person with non-emergency cr chronic illness may suddenly experience an emergency. So you can have a chronic illness and have an acute exacerbation of it. For example, asthma. And you can have uh, a, a flare-up that's very life-threatened. So um, this slide speaks about common causes of injuries treated in the ED annually. There, the falls, you can see these numbers for yourself, about 8.9 million, uh, struck by a, uh, an object, 4.5 million, overexertion, 3.3 million, uh, motor vehicle, is about 2.5 million um, cut or pierced by an object 2.1 million bites and stings other than dog bites is about 1.2 million poison including a drug overdose about a little bit less than a million so 972,000 an intentional injury causes deaths poison including drug overdose accounts for most accidental injury deaths followed by MVA falls, choking, drowning, fire, and smoke, uh, and other injuries in the home, public areas, or work. Injuries may strike at any time in any places. EMR provide care until patient receives advanced help by a paramedic or EMT, etc. Moving forward. Delivery. What are delivery to the pre-hospital emergency medical care? can happen in the, by the fire department. It can happen by a hospital base or volunteer EMS ambulance system, uh, or private ambulance or emergency medical service system in the county or town that you live in. EMS Act of 1973 was established nationwide system, sophisticated network of service, a single call for help initiates response to rush for to rush to care to the patient. So assessing EMS, one must call 911 or any local other number, and most communities have centralized 911 system. 
and a 911 call reaches the dispatcher who then sends resources to the scene. Colors identify name to so the 911 system what is needed. All right. Colors c colors identify names, location and phone numbers. Enhanced 911 system automatically provides dispatchers with caller's phone number and location. Caller may need to specify exact location. With cell now with the cellular technology, caller precise location may be um sorry, with cellular calls, caller precise location may be unknown. Steps of EMS response of two emergencies. There's a few steps here, all right? So medical emergency occurs, all right? The, and the um, emergency is recognized, EMS is activated. Uh, citizen responders may give first aid or CPR on the scene if they are trained. EMR arrive and provide care. EMT or paramedic higher level assume the care. And that EMT continuous care is that that was begin by the EMR that follows stabilization and care then then transport to the hospital setting to the emergency department patient transfers to in a hospital emergency care system so that includes the doctors and nurses that work inside the hospital itself sent to scene by dispatchers right that's the EMR after the citizen has activated EMS if on the scene Initiate call, initiate call to dispatcher to activate EMS. So as an EMR, your goal is always to communicate with the dispatcher to send higher level of care and resources and ensure that EMS has been activated in those situations, right? That is your, make sure the patient is okay, make sure the scene is safe, and your next step is to activate the dispatcher. Hospital emergency department, the, this slide discussed type of the facilities re receiving patients. We have the hospital emergency department, uh, the specialty uh, facilities are trauma centers, burn centers, pediatric centers, perineal centers, or cancer oncology centers. Uh, there's, I can add to you, stroke centers is also um, another special facility. So preparation for equipment and personnel. What must you have? Equipment used must be clean, completely readily and available for use. Frequent checks is very important. All equipments, make sure they're in good working order. Dates of supplies checked to make sure before they expire. Oxygen cylinders are kept full. An AED, which is automatic external defibrillator, charged, is charged in his working order. Dressings and bandages are replaced as soon as they are used. <laughs> Pre-planning. Preparing a plan in, in anticipation of different emergencies. Many industrial plants have plans res for responses that identify a key personnel, location of supplies, mechanism of no notifying EMS, evacu evacuation routes, staging areas, fire departments, EMS system, pre plans response to areas of potential hazards. So this will continue. Where did we we left off at the mechanism of not notifying EMS, evacuation routes, staging areas, and the fire department EMS system already have a pre-planned response to the hazardous uh, potential hazardous emergencies, right? So notify notification of medical emergencies, police department, fire department, EMS providers receive the call. If it's already on scene, we have the lifeguards, ski patrol members, or athletic trainers that are already on the scene. So responding to the call, gather medical equipment to go to the scene. Respond in appropriate vehicle. The fire, police, or rescue personnel have already vehicles equipped with necessary warning equipments. A private vehicle obey all traffic laws and signs. Ten, compo ten components of EMS system. One is regulation and policy. Two, resources management. Three, human resources and training. Four, transportation. Five, facilities. Six, communication. Seven, public information and education. Eight, medical oversight. Nine, trauma system. Ten, evaluation. Team approach of basic life support, BLS. Many situations benefit from a team approach. 
The composition and level of experience of, of the team vary depending on the location or circumstances. Designated team leader directs and coordinates basic life support activities of the team member. Focus is to deliver high quality CPR using an AED as quickly as possible and efficiently. A team may be used both within a healthcare facility and outside facilities by multiple EMS pro so, uh, providers. So what are the what falls under EMS professionals? We have the dispatcher, we have the EMR, we have the EMT, we have the paramedic, we have a medical director. A medical director usually is a physician that works in the hospital. Um, that most of the top f the four are called if they need um, further medical assistance. Dispatcher. The call to the e EMD or dispatcher. They receive the 911 call. They locate the law enforcement agency, fire station, or any other site. Uh, they are trained to obtain information and determine what personnel or equipment is needed for that specific call. So they send now the EM EMS unit to the scene. So as a EMR, usually you're the first the first responder. Um, you take over the patient for uh, from those who are the layperson who will likely giving the first aid. You gather information concerning the patient. You control the scene. You prepare for arrival of the ambulance because remember when you set all these scenes, you have already called the dispatcher to get further resources. Um, provider provides care until advanced professional arrive, like a EMT or a paramedic, right? So, so a little bit of repetition here. So now EMT and paramedics, what did they do? They arrive in ambulance equipped for basic and advanced life support. Uh, they take over the care for de the definitive medical care and transport. EMT with different level of training perform different medical treatments. Paramedics have the highest level of training outside of a hospital setting. A medical director is usually a physician with EMS system overseas EMR and EMT. Established protocol for medical care available for consultation by radio or telephone. Categories of the uh, EMR responsibilities. So, general responsibility falls under maintaining readiness for emergency equipment, respond in safe, rapid manner, maintain personal safety. If emergency requires special personnel equipment or contact EMS, they should know and tell the dispatcher that. Uh, gain access to the patient, give emergency, emergency care to the patient, document the uh, care uh, actions to meet local record keeping requirements and maintain good community relations. Patient care responsibilities. Um, they give care to all life threatening problems, activate EMS, further access, assess the patient to detect medical problems and life and, and which ones are life of life threatening. Provide care, remain the, re remain with the patient, assist EMS as they arrive and as needed. Provide emotional support for the patient, family members, any other else. Or, uh, any other bystanders on the scene. Maintain the patient privacy and confidentiality. So, at the scene, what they do? Identify safety issues, determine number of patients, determine the resources needed. It may be necessary to assess patients, maintain safety of self, patient, and others at scene. Assist personnel as required or requested. So as um, five, do you cooperate with other public safety workers? And six, um, they assist in directing traffic. They can summon other appropriate help, control, direct, or act by senders for help. Or here, assist EM, the other EMS system job. <coughs> so um, characteristics, they may... Uh, Maintain good and caring professional attitudes. Respect all patients, family. Maintain co composure. Maintain a professional appearance. Maintain a personal fitness and health. So the medical oversight. 
Responsibility of patient a physician overseeing pre-hospital emergency, emergency care. Medical director leads respond team and decide how care is delivered. Includes direct and indirect medical medical control. Medical director involved by instructing pre-hospital care provider. Medical director stays in contact with the care provider. Medical director can authorize specific patient's treatment outside of standard protocol. Indirect medical control refers to offline direction provided by the medical director. Medical director responsible for developing protocol, including EMS system design, standard of training, and quality assurance pro program. So the legal responsibility of a medical director. In many states, EMR functions under the guidance and control of the med medical director. EMR generally considered agents of the medical director. Training in accordance to the state EMS office. Pre preparation begins with training and continues. Keep your skill and knowledge to up to date. And frequent use of skill, you should be practiced. Practiced. Attend continuing education program and refresher training. Read professional publication. Maintain a current knowledge of issue affecting EMS itself. Quality improvement. Process to monitor and evaluate quality pre-hospital patient care. Goal is to make improvement whether possible and correct any problems never to blame or punish. Formal quality improvement program vary among states and localities. EMR may participate in quality improvement program by helping collect data or other activities. It continues here. It helps minimize the chances of error occurring. In So be thoughtful as you provide care. Do not make assumptions about patient's condition. Use quick reference guide or other materials to remember information. Never hesitate to ask other EMS system for help. The brief every call of your and your action, thinking whether you might do anything differently next time and improve on to improve for the next. So research EMS. EMS system events based on scientific research and quality improvement research. EMR skill based on most current research. EMR may participate in a research study. Your participation helps ensure patients receive the best possible care. So public health. Government program to improve the health of citizens. Focus is to promote good health and pre prevent diseases. EMS has a critical role in, in health promotion and the prevention of injury and illness. Function includes education and communication. This continues. We have some um, example of health promo pro uh, promotion, illness, and injury prevention. So primary prevention is preventing diseases by encouraging recommended vaccination and educating about good health practices. Secondary prevention, reducing the complication of or progression of disease. Disease surveillance, documenting information related to epidemics of disease and injury prevention includes using safety equipment, educating others about importance of using car seats for infants and young children, using seat belts for older, and all shoulder traps in vehicles, wearing helmet on bicycles or in sport activities, not driving under the influence of alcohol or other drugs, and using safety practice practices to prevent falls, fires, burns, and drowning and poisoning. So this ends the first lecture of the EMR uh, course. Thank you very much.
children, which I think is, is, is great because mixed race people are really awesome. You know, you have like Mariah and Derek Jeter, and then of course you got the, the GOAT. He was mixed race. The GOAT. The greatest of all time. I know what it means, but who are you? Our guy, the legend. Malcolm X. Our guy. And then if Amir and I had a, a kid, that kid would be mixed race, and it would be a very nice baby. Maybe not as important as Malcolm X, but maybe, maybe, maybe my son would be as important as Malcolm X. I don't. She got engaged when she was like three or four years old. That's not pretty unusual. Justin.